It seems like Sydney's Daily Telegraph have finally publicly embraced being miserable grouches. The country votes for same-sex marriage and the telly depicts it with the front-page image of Al Bundy from Married with Children sitting on the couch glumly, with the headline, Now we can all share the joy. Could they think of a more dated reference? Married with Children, if you were at watching sitcoms in the 1980s, is a show premised around women saying something shrill, followed by Bundy making fun of their weight slash intelligence slash sluttiness and the Telegraph had to go back more than 30 years for a pop culture reference that suited their mood on same-sex marriage. The newspaper also featured a column from Miranda Devine explaining why she accepts the result of the postal survey. Which is strange, because we never knew the results of popular votes needed her approval. Twitter blowout Not a single person appears to be happy about Twitter's doubling of its character count allowing users to make their inane observations and angry opinions twice as long as before. Previously criticisms had to be curt and brief. Now Twitter users are able to bloviate about whatever topic they see fit. Already people are feeling out their newfound sense of space, like an ex-convict leaving prison after years behind bars. Though Getnicked can't help but think this tweet could have been expressed in 140 characters or less. Hash 280 characters. Or even this one from the actor who played State Senator Clay Davis on The Wire. Hash 280 characters. She ate it. Though the change has allowed this tweet to be properly made. Now, with hash 280 characters, the lyrics of UP and Down finally fit in just one tweet up and down, up and down, and up and down, up and down, up and down, up. And down up and down up and down and up and down hash up add down hash vega boys. Whether that's a good thing or not is up to you. Dragging out the result. Speaking of the postal survey, kudos to Australian Bureau of Statistics boss David Kalisch for milking the announcement for all that it's worth. He could have just walked to the lectern and declared, it's yes. But given his actual title of Australian statistician, Kalisch called to help giving us some figures first. In the 9.com AU office, there was a long gap of silence as the group of journalists armed with their arts degrees tried to calculate in their heads whether 7.8 million was more than half of 12 million. Australia may have been frustrated at Kalisch who spoke for quite a few minutes before declaring yes the winner.